Hello, welcome back to our channel where we learn English every day with these different videos. Today's videos are about study tips, of course. Uh, hopefully, you're watching every week where um, I have a list of at least 30 different study tips where I teach you how to study. So today's topic will be practice, 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 tip number 26. So before I get into that, don't forget to like below. Give us a like so that we know you're enjoying these videos. And don't forget to subscribe. We have a subscribe button over here so that we know that you can learn English quicker every day. So, okay, yes, yeah, so today is on my list of 30 tips how to study. Of course, today is tip number 26, practice, practice, practice. Of course, uh, an example would be, I mean, before I get into that, I'll explain. Yes, but this is an example I give to my students. I have on Saturday morning, I have a class where I teach math, science, history. I teach American school subjects to Japanese kids. And before they join that, I make sure uh, that they have they can write down their ABCs. They're already my students, and most of them can. But especially, I want them to practice their numbers below and their ordinals. So they're they're ordering numbers like fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, instead of just the normal numbers. And they can practice numbers and the letters. What's interesting about this is I did the, exactly the same homework when I was uh, their age, when I was uh, entering elementary from. Uh, from kindergarten, from kindergarten to elementary, the teacher gave us this homework. I think, I know, in during kindergarten, I guess, the teacher gave us homework where she said, we didn't do this, we wrote numbers. We wrote one, two, three, four, five, six. She said, write until 4,000. So this is 50 pages. And if you do them all, I sorry, 25 pages front and back, but 50 uh, if you count singly. And so if you do them all, you will actually have, of course, so you'll have... Uh, sorry, 4,000. You'll have 4,000. I did it over the weekend when I was a kid. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The teacher gave us three days to do it. And I give my kids uh, about two weeks to do it in case. But anyway, practice, practice, practice. Even they say, oh, I know how to write A. Or I know how to write 13th. Uh, but can you write it repeatedly, repeatedly? So, of course, the more you do something, as they say, practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So, uh, for example, Google. Google has done a lot of research on this because, of course, they're very famous uh, for ad or advertisements around the world. And they said that exactly a recent survey came out that said for people to recognize an ad, I think TV ads are the same way, but TV ads or Internet ads, for people just to recognize it, it takes at least seven times uh, to connect to it, to see it. So if you see an ad for this, for example, this strawberry, uh, strawberry lemonade, uh, if you see this ad and you're like, mm, okay, I saw it on TV or I saw it on the internet or I saw it on magazines, finally, if they hit, if it hits you seven times, then you finally recognize it. Oh, I've seen that ad before. So the same, I I would say the same is true for studying. If you see something or do something seven times, if you write this list seven times, or anything, if you do anything seven times, read a book seven times, you'll finally start to recognize it. But to really remember it according to Google, to remember something fully, you need 23 to 27 times to remember it. So, uh, for example, I practice gestures with people, and this is, uh, of course, this is sunny, or this is rainy, or this is snowy, and exactly for the kids, it takes 23 to 27 times, so it takes at least half of a year of lessons. We have 42 lessons a year, so it takes more than half a year, like seven months, to hit that threshold where they get 23 27 times that's what kills me when people say i finished the book like for example with this book i finished the book so i'm okay uh i'm cool i memorized it all really i can't do that can you do that really so it takes at least seven times just to recognize it so repeating a textbook or looking at it many times but of course following the different so i should say that following the different study advice on this channel of course just reading it exactly the same way seven times is I don't recommend. But each time you do it, do it seven different ways. For example, Cornell Notes. Maybe I'll, I'll link above the Cornell Notes section, but it's uh, study advice number four. Check that out. It teaches you how to look at the same information more than one way. Also, study num tip number 14, uh, SQRRR, SQ3R, teaches you also how to look at things differently. But it, the point is, in this study advice tip, repeat repeat as much as you can so again of course last time we talked about temperatures uh, what's the best temperature to study at to absorb today also practice 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 uh, next time we'll talk about gum why gum is important yeah. why do baseball players chew gum for example we'll talk about that next time i hope these are helping you study better remember 
they only work if you put them into your life and how to do that is of course you have to do it every day for at least 21 days in a row when you do it 21 days in a row your body starts to get used to it and it becomes a habit of course you can't do all these 30 kids but pick one put them into use and when you start getting used to it then you can put another one into your life thanks again so uh, don't forget to subscribe here's some other study tips and here's some other popular videos on our channel and I hope you have a good day and see you in tomorrow's lesson. See you.